the Joe Rogan experience. Well, well, well. well if well, it is well. an old horseworm Rogan. <laughs> I'm glad you're. I'm glad you're well, man. Bro, do I have to sue CNN? I don't know. I don't know. Do you? They're making shit up. They keep saying I'm taking horse dewormer. I literally got it from a doctor. It's an American company. Mm-hmm. It's a. It. They won the Nobel Prize in 2015 for use in human beings. Yeah. And CNN is saying I'm taking horse dewormer. Yeah. What? So well, they must know that the, that's a lie. Well, there's a lot of people saying it. <laughs> right, but a lot of people can say it. Okay. Yeah. Like the internet says it. Who cares? Sure. But, but it's CNN it's is saying it. Like Jim Acosta. But I meant like other, like USA Today, a few other like. Yeah, and they're talking of, of, about ivermectin. Right? Yeah. So what? Because I don't know. I just saw so much news yeah. about you. I mean, I would talk to you and check on you and see if you're all right. And you're like. <laughs> You, you you threw the kitchen sink at it, you said, yeah. which was stuff that, you know, you took IV drips and was it mono what? Mono- monoclonal antibodies. And the, what is monoclonal antibodies? It's the shit they gave Trump. Okay. Yeah. And then what, so who said, or did you already want ivermectin? Like, Well, I had this guy on, Dr. Pierre Corey, and he is, uh, what is the organization? He's from Frontline Criti- COVID Critical Care Workers. Yeah, that's my He's a... Uh, well-established doctors treated thousands of people with COVID, and they've uh, the, early on in the pandemic they found some good uh, efficacy with uh, with with um, ivermectin. Frontline nineteen critical care alliance. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I had him on, and you know he had talked to me about it. it's not he's not the only doctor that told me to take it. Multiple doctors told me to take it. Mm-hmm. It's uh, it's supposed to have uh, what is the exact thing it's supposed to do? There's there's something that I highlighted, um, th- and this is obviously I'm not a doctor. It says I- ivermectin was found to be a blocker of viral uh, replica replicase R E P L I C A S A protease, and I don't know what this word is. Human T M P R S S two, I don't know. But what they didn't highlight yeah. is that I got better. Yeah, you got better quickly. They tr- try to make it seem as if like I'm doing some wacky shit that's completely ineffective. And right. CNN was saying that I'm a distributor of misinformation. Also, that was the other thing that happened. The um, in Tokyo in Japan, which is apparently. Uh, they're very conservative about the medication that they they use and the medications that they uh, endorse. But the Tokyo Medical Association chairman held a live press conference recommending ivermectin to all doctors for all COVID patients. So what's going on with the, like the, you know, it's kind of hard to to figure out what's the truth in in a lot of things. But with, with regard to this, people go, it's insane to take ivermectin. Like yeah. you see it everywhere. Everyone's like, "This is wild. Don't take this shit." And then you have the head of the fucking Tokyo whatever medical commission saying, "Take ivermectin." Yeah, like, I don't know I don't... what's going on, man. You know, there's a lot of speculation. One of the speculations involves the um, emergency use authorization for the vaccines. That in order for there to be an emergency use authorization, there has to be no treatment mm-hmm. for a disease. Right. So because there is this treatment in, in ivermectin, and mm-hmm. there's other treatments too, right? Um, because of this, there's a lot of pushback against potential treatments and pretending that they don't really work or that they're conspiracy theories. Mm-hmm. This, is the, this is the grand conspiracy, right? The grand right. conspiracy is that the pharmaceutical companies are all in cahoots to try to make anybody who takes this stuff look crazy. But what's crazy is look how better I got. Yeah. I got better pretty quick, bitch. Let's go to like your your whole experience. Yeah. So you get back from a trip, right? And is it that night, do you arrive home and know, or like on your way home, you're like, I don't feel so great? Um, well, Saturday, here's what happened. Friday night, we went out and got hammered. Mm-hmm. Went out and played pool till 3.30 in the morning, had a, a bunch of drinks. Mm-hmm. Had a br- yeah. bunch of drinks at the show. At the show, I think I had two drinks, and then I had like four afterwards. So yeah. we're pretty lit. Yeah. And it was three thirty in the morning. Exhausted, plane travel. You know, flew that day mm-hmm. from. Um, I guess so. Fort Lauderdale was the first show. Then that was Tampa, and then the last show was Orlando. Um, that night, I just I was worn out. 
Friday night, you know, because three thirty in the morning, and I was like, yeah. "Oh, I gotta crash." And then I woke up in the morning, and I was definitely hungover, but I was also just feeling a little out of it, just mm-hmm. a little, just a little, just not good. It's hard to describe. If I had COVID, it was just like beginning stages, but I thought it was a hangover. Right, which kind of confuses yeah. the way the, how you can read it. So drank a lot of water, um, ate, took a bunch of vitamins, went to sleep, got up for the show, felt good. Um, no drinks that night. Um, and then that night we flew back. And so just feeling worn out, you know, pretty normal, but worn out. Mm-hmm. And then when I got home, I was like, man, something just feels off. So I told my wife, you know, you should probably um, keep away from me. Let me isolate. Luckily, we have a big house. I mm-hmm. isolated. And in the middle of the night, I was sweating, you know, would get fevers and I just I I wasn't feeling good. And you knew it then? I woke up in the morning, I knew it. When the morning, yeah. by the time the morning, I was like, something's going on. Let's see what it is. It was 90 whatever percent sure it was COVID. So morning I got tested, turned out positive, and then just- and this is Sunday? Mm-hmm, Sunday. So Sunday, Sunday you're, you find out you're positive, and then that day you, be, you feel sick, right? You're just yeah. in bed, relaxed, Yeah, like that resting. day, headache. Sick. And do you weak. do you immediately? This is what I didn't hadn't asked you yet. Had you did you have a plan in place in your head for like if I get COVID yes. I would do these. So you yes. So when you find out you're positive, yeah, you start reaching out for these treatments. Yeah, I already had the, I already had it in place. You did. Yeah, I was already ready to go. So <clears throat> and then you start taking them that day. Yeah, I got it. I got all the stuff that I needed. Took it that day, and then Monday I felt pretty fucking good. And I was taking vitamin IV drips every day, high dose of vitamin C, Mm -hmm. um, vitamin D, uh, and NAD as well. My concern when I spoke to you was just, will you please fucking rest? (laughs) (laughs) That's what I texted you. I was like, no hill runs, no fucking kettlebells, and don't wrestle any fucking cattle today. (laughs) Just rest. I did. you're like, I'm going to rest. I'm going to rest. I rested. I know. I I did. I rested. I I did. I, I didn't did. do shit but watch TV. I actually enjoyed the first couple of days because yeah. I was like, this is a nice, like a legit solid excuse where I don't have to do anything, yes. which never comes up. Right. That was like when the pandemic started back in March last year where it was like, no, mm-hmm. you have to cancel your dates. I was like, all right, it'll be like a nice week off. Like, like this, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Two weeks to slow the spread. Yeah, let's fucking chill yeah. out. Uh, yeah. Um. So... But, you know, after I did this and I, I hit it with the NAD and the uh, high-dose vitamin C, I think it was 10,000 10, milligrams of vitamin C in the IV drip, which is, like, very it, – it's very effective. It goes right into your bloodstream, right? Yeah. Um, after that and the monoclonal antibodies and all the other stuff, literally on Monday I felt pretty fucking good. That's Yeah. So that's pretty, pretty fast, Pretty man. fast. Yeah. yeah. Mine – when I got COVID, I was in, like, the hospital recovering from surgery. Right. And I thought it was uh, the opioid withdrawals, mm. of which they told me, they're like, you're going to feel like shit when you get off of these. Like the flu, right? Yeah. It's exactly. They said, you're going to get emotional, and you're going to feel <laughs> terrible. And I was like, okay. And I, t- I got off of them, like, on a Saturday. I stopped taking them after, like, two weeks. And then on Monday... I think it was Monday or Tuesday, I had PT and OT back to back. And afterwards, I was like, man, I feel terrible. What is OT? Occupational therapy. What's Usually, the difference? Like, above the waist is kind of the way they tell you. Like, PT's below the waist, OT's above the waist. Oh. So they were treating my knee for PT, and then the OT was like the har- arm and hand stuff. And I did them back to back, like in their hour each. And I'm all fucked up. So they're like, yeah, of course you're tired and shit. Like, take a nap. And I, sl- I slept for like three hours. And they're like, God damn. And I... And here's the thing. No, it occurred to nobody that I had COVID. The next day, I'm like, I have diarrhea. My my shoulders, like my traps, neck, were so achy. I was like, oh. And they're like, yeah, he's just fucking worn out from the, the therapy and getting off of the opiates and everything. And and then the, the next day, a little better, but still shitty. And the third day, I was like, I feel better, you know. And the fourth day, I was like, I feel fine. So that was kind of like my window. And it was the last, the fourth day where they were like, do you want to take a COVID test? I was like, for what? They're like, oh, for when you felt like shit three days ago? <laughs> and I go, yeah, okay. And so I took the COVID test. And my favorite is that they're like, uh, 
do you want same day results? And I go, yeah. And they go, it's expensive. And I go, this fucking hospital stays expensive. What are you talking about? Like, right. this is thousands of dollars a day. You think I, I don't want to spend a hundred dollars more to find out today? So I said, yeah, let's do same day. And then they tested. And at the end of the day, I go, where's my result? And they're like, we don't know. <laughs> so the next day I'm going home and it's, it's, it's a Saturday. And they're taking me home. And I was like, hey, whatever happened to my fucking COVID test? And now I feel like totally fine. And they go, uh, I don't know. I'm going to call the lady that took the test. And I was like, what the fuck? So crazy. So I get home. I watch a movie with my kids. Oh, no. And the email goes, ding. And I open it and it says positive. That's how I found out. So you're fucking super protected. Because, yeah. <clears throat> because they showed, uh, there was a study that showed that if you've had a previous COVID infection, you're six to 13 times uh, more protected than you are with just a Pfizer. Yeah, I, tr I, you know, I gave up the argument. I was arguing with my cousin, who's an ID doctor. What's an ID doctor? Infectious disease doctor. Oh. So this is what she treats. And she's in the hospitals, you know, every day. And uh, she was like, when the Delta variant came out, she was like, this thing is no joke. She's like, this is all I'm seeing. You have to get back, especially if you're going on tour. And I was like, mm. I was like, well, what about, and whatever. I was like, fine, I'll just go. <laughs> yeah. Just well, it didn't bother you. Yeah, it didn't bother me. <clears throat> I'm still um, doing that. <clears throat> like, I'll still hawk, hawk up little green shit yeah. here and there. So yeah. You what, a week out? Uh, a week yesterday. Yeah. 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 It's not that long. But it doesn't feel bad. Yeah, like, and uh, you were able I had a to, great you workout, workout, today. workout today. Yeah, I had a great workout today. felt great. This, that's my second workout. I had one workout two days, three days ago, three days ago, um, then took yesterday off and then worked out again today. Yeah. No problem at all. Just feel completely normal. Great. Yeah. And your breathing's fine. Yeah, except the, the hocking up hocking little, up, yeah. but it, they're little ones. How little, crazy little is green you? Things. Or maybe you're f immune to it now from having so much public scrutiny, but like having people wish you got sicker. <laughs> Isn't that crazy to I you? I didn't pay attention. It's crazy to me. I mean, I've had people, you know, wish harm on me and threaten mm -hmm. me and tell me they wish I was dead and all this stuff. But fun. Yeah, you're like, cool, man. Uh, thanks for watching the special. Um, but it's like when you're sick, yeah. people are like, I wish you were more sick. Well, like, the good news is damn. I was only sick for a day. That's true. <laughs> yeah. it's, just, it's just wild that there's people that are like, I wish you were more sick. I wish, yeah, well, I wish you were in the hospital. Because right I wasn't scared during the entire pandemic, what they would like is that when I did get sick, that yeah. I was really sick. And you and learned became your lesson. really scared and learned my lesson. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And instead, it's the worst case scenario for them. Right. I bounce back about in as quick day. as you yeah. fucking can. Yeah. And they're haters. Yeah. But that's their life. That's you got to live like that. Imagine spending any time whatsoever wishing that a person felt bad. Yeah, that's true. it's the dumbest fucking thing it's you could insane. ever spend your energy on. Yeah, and it true. doesn't work. You can't. No. It doesn't. It doesn't make people feel worse. You're like, God, I wish so hard. <laughs> He's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so crazy. But I, I, you know, I'd heard that that was going on, but I didn't pay attention to it. It's like you know, they're weak bitches. Yeah. You stay salty. Yeah. We're doing all right. Everything's fine. Yeah. I'm doing pretty good. But meanwhile, I don't have a bad message. My message is be healthy. And obviously, there's some merit to that, you know, and merit to being consistently healthy. You know, the end, it, it, here's a message. The, the thing that fucked me is drinking. I think that really fucked me. Yeah. I bet if I went home early, went to the hotel early Friday night and got sleep like I normally do, I, I bet it would have never got me. You think so? Yeah, I was hammered. We are out playing pool till, like I said, 3.30 in the morning. <clears throat> And you know I love playing pool, so yeah. I'll play pool till I'm fucking exhausted. Oh my god! I went on a trip with you once, <sighs> dude. It was like stand up to pool <laughs> to to the hole next day. Like you're like I didn't go to bed. You got back <laughs> at like nine a.m. and then we went out to breakfast. I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> you're fine. I was like, no way, dude. Well, you know that that message is not a good message. No. The up all night message and the drinking message is that, yeah, my messages don't do that. And it, it's stupid, and I, I haven't had a drink since then. I, Watch the entire episode for free only on Spotify.